Hello everyone, you're watching Newcastle United Life and Times YouTube channel. My name's Rob Britt. I'm Paul Anderson. So Paul, on the show yesterday, we were talking about the match against Aston Villa just before the kickoff, and uh, we both took 2-1. And, uh, oh, didn't quite turn out that way, did it? I, but at first I did say 12-0 and I, was, I wasn't that far off. Could have been twelve at the end, son. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so we'll we'll go we'll go with your take on the game first, Paul. Um, do you want to give a little summary? Oh, well, at the start we came out the blocks flying, didn't we? Uh, Tonali getting that debut goal, and then he, he could have had a second a couple of minutes later. Then they scored, mm. and Isaac scored, mm. and then uh, I think Ings uh, Mings got injured, didn't he? And then. I think in the second half, last 20, 30 minutes, I think we just wiped the floor with them once we made the subs. Mm. It was just, it could have been anything, to be honest with you, couldn't it? Yeah. Well, I mean, I think we both um, agreed that we didn't think he would start Tenali. He did. And what a master stroke that was. Oh, well, he reckons in training he's been mm. good this week, didn't he? Mm. And he went off the fittest play, as he said. So, obviously, Longstaff just wasn't fit enough. He hasn't had a full pre-season. Yeah. We thought he might have went for Anderson, but obviously he's went for experience, hasn't he? And just threw Tenali in, which he doesn't normally do when you sign him. Oh, but what a master stroke. What a master <laughs> it certainly, It certainly was. I mean, I, I thought I thought Anthony Gordon caused him a lot of problems as well. He had a great first half. Oh, he was fantastic on that left, yeah. Yeah. I mean, imagine he's just running them ragged, and in the last 20 minutes, you've got someone like Harvey Bonds going on. You know what I mean? And then Isaac runs their defence ragged and then Wilson comes on, you think. Oh. And if you play a high lane against us, it's just it's just football suicide, really. Yeah. You can't be playing a high lane against us. I mean, I, I, I thought Villa, I thought they were, they were good value. Uh, they certainly created chances and they always looked dangerous coming forward. We touched on this before before the, the game started, you know. And uh, they, they'll beat a lot of teams this season, Villa, because they're a decent yeah. side and they're organised, you know. Yeah, but at the back, they were, they were poor at the back, I thought. That high line, the teams will pierce, will destroy them. Mm. They can't be playing that all the time. Yeah, yeah. But uh, 5-1, I mean, who, who, who Honestly, saw that coming? But with each goal at the end, you're just thinking, oh, it's just fantastic, wasn't it, man? I mean, that, but, <laughs> that game, right, like, looking back on it, it could have been, like, 8-4. 8 3. It was yeah. just a, it was a bit of a balmy game when you like, when you look I at mean, the 90 minutes. Mm -hmm. They missed a couple of decent chances as well, didn't they? Mm -hmm. uh, Matty Cash at 3 1. They had a score, yeah, but yeah. then we missed a few. Isaac had a one on one. Wilson missed this. Well, it was a good save from Martinez, but he should have scored that. Mm. But uh, oh, just fantastic. The forward play him on the link up to Gnarly. I mean, how good a debut was that? Uh, I mean, what was it? Six minutes on the clock, and he nets. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what? It, but he started the move, Robin. He just he arrived yeah. late in the box, and and the finish was sublime. I thought like it was good, like. Mm -hmm. No, it was. Uh, it was just a, a great spectacle, you know. Um, but it puts us in a, in a great situation. I mean, in terms of our goal difference, and then next week we'll go to Man City. Um, <laughs> I mean, not so long ago, you'd go to Man City and you think if we get beat two nil, it was it felt like a draw. You know, you'd think, oh well. But now, why can't we go then and think, hey, that's uh, that's take the game to them. You know, I think we'll get some out of the game. I do. Well, we've got a great record at this stadium. Mm. <laughs> What's one win since they opened the ground? Yeah. We're yes. Re I, listen, records. I, I don't oh, do. Yeah, yeah. 
don't yeah. don't do stats and we haven't won this. I mean, there was this whole thing about we've never won at Old Trafford since I think what seventy four until uh, Kabai scored. Um, no, look look, I don't do stuff like that. Uh, look, we will go to Man City after uh, yesterday's performance. Confidence will be high, and uh, and they've got a Super Cup game in midweek. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but if you think back to the game yesterday, right? And you had to pick a man of the match. Who would be a man of the match? Yeah, I think you've got to go for Tenali, haven't you? I mean, I think Gordon was just behind him, possibly. Yeah, Gordon yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, Isaac was good. I mean, that, that goal when he uh, yeah. lofted the ball yeah, over yeah, the, the keeper. Good I'm saying World that. Class but... finish. There's only a few strikers can do that. Right. Like you're saying this morning on match of the day that. He, you think about it, he only had a couple of seconds from when that defender missed the ball. He had a couple of seconds to think about it and dink the ball. It was it was a bit like Beardsley, to be honest. Just a little dink. Oh, he's, he is, he is, he's class like, and to be honest with you, I think there's, we're going to see a lot more. I wouldn't be surprised if Isaac gets at least 20 goals this season. Easy. Yeah. I think he might get 100 goals, Rob. <laughs> well... Uh, no, I think he, I think he could be looking at twenty five to thirty. Uh, he's got to be uh, on it. Just out of curiosity, um, I know it's a bit man blanket coming on there. Is is it just are you are you are you going for it, or are you just kind of be asked to have a shift? I think it's just the stress of yesterday's game, Rob. You know, when you start, I mean, I was clean shaven about an hour. <laughs> Kick off and it just grew in after about half an hour. <laughs> That's what football does to you. Aye, aye. So, yeah. So yeah, a great day had by all yesterday. Uh, five one, brilliant. Uh, mm -hmm. Top of the league, huh? Top of the, oh, league, we are top of the league. But, and I've seen a stat this morning. Was the last time that happened when Allardyce was manager the first game? Is that correct? Sam um, Allardyce, I think, would beat Bolton three or four nil. Shot was oh, his first game in charge. I can't remember. I can't remember. Um, so, I think something like that, I. Allardyce was a manager. God, yeah, I'm going back a few years. Yeah. So... <laughs> well, listen, yeah. I mean, like, I, I'm not just saying this just because we, we, we beat Villa 5-1 yesterday, but I do think we can achieve whatever we want this season. I, I do. I, I think we're a good team now. We are a good team. You know, people might, all these pundits might think last season was a bit of a, like a flash in the pan or a one season wonder. No. I mean, look, just looking at yes, I just thought. And you think about it, Rob, we not only beat them, we not only beat them 5-1, we obliterated them, destroyed them, humiliated them. Just picked up from last season, we? we'll go again, but we're stronger and there's a possibility, hopefully we'll get another... them. Oh, we them. them. Yeah, yes, we did. There's a possibility, though, we could still get another sign in this window and then we've got the January window and so we're going from strength to strength all the time, you know? Yeah, I think, yeah. When you look at the pace on the break now, man, the counter-attacks. Mm. I noticed later on, they just they just let Villa have the ball and just broke on them. They weren't pressing as much. We just sucked them in and got the ball and broke in numbers. And with well, that high line, it was just, oh, they just couldn't handle it, could they? No. No. At the end, I think Emery just wanted he just wanted the whistle after about seventy five minutes, didn't he? It was just mm. the way we were going at them. Like I listened to Eddie Howe after the game, and he was saying that he wasn't particularly happy. He says we could have scored a lot of goals. He says, but he wasn't happy with the defending that you know. And and I oh, just well, thought I myself <sighs> team problems, Rob. The well, you... course teams problems, Villa. Well, I don't wonder that you know they've got goals in. Them. Oh, of course we are. That that hey, listen, they're a good team. I mean, you you look mm. at the last what two three months of last season. Villa were on fire, man. Yeah, I yeah. think I think they won ten of the last 13, 14 games or something. You know. Mm. Yeah, and you just look what we did to them yesterday, man. That last twenty five minutes, it was just just blew them away, man. Oh, it's it's just great, like man. a bomb going off, man. It's just great. The football's back. The season's back. Um, we're top of the league. You know, it's not often we can say that. Mind you, after one game, it's. Everyone's to get on. You've just seen the fans, the fans with the players again. When everyone's together, 
I manned on all them in the crowd again and oh it's just at the minute it's just great man just hopefully we can go there next week and mm. give a good account of ourselves and give them some problems well I can't see why we can't you know we've definitely got the players that can cause Man City problems there's no yeah. doubt about that they know? struggle against the, the one thing they struggle against is on the flanks and I think yeah. we've got that and Isaac if he can get in behind them mm. I think that's mm. the way to beat them especially with De Bruyne being out as well you know you could it's interesting we'll it's... Save this for Friday show, Rob. yes we'll save the it's it's very interesting, Paul. Um, you mentioned a man that before there. Um, we will touch on this documentary that uh, aired on Amazon on Friday. We are united. Um, now I woke up, must have been about quarter past four on Friday morning. Um, I was going to watch it Friday night, and I thought, you know what, I'm up now. So I watched it first thing Friday morning, and uh, I thought it was amazing, me, incredible, oh, absolutely geez. amazing. It was just great, isn't it, to see everyone together now and that, man, how much they actually love the club and that. Mm-hmm. The speeches she was given in the dressing room and yeah. to Eddie Howe and, you know, she, you just see she really cares, you know what I mean? They all do. But like oh. the previous owner, but like the previous owner, Rob, he really cared. Uh, uh, no, don't go there. No, I just it come across really well and, I mean, the title, We Are United, <laughs> that's exactly what, what you were watching. Everyone's united. Mm-hmm. Everyone wants the same thing. It was just so... I got quite emotional, actually, you know, watching it. I First did. 10 minutes, I, I think I must have cried three times. Uh, it was... Uh, but, I mean, there's three more episodes to come yet, so it'll be... It's. It'll, I'm sure everyone watching it will be like a, a bit of a roller coaster, you know. But it's great mm-hmm. to, get, to look behind the scenes where uh, EHE inviting everyone over to his house. I mean, it's, watching it's not that. some one bedroom. Uh, it's not some one bedroom apartment on the quayside, is it? <laughs> no, it'll be like a fifty bedroom mansion somewhere. I mean, could you ask for a better chairman? Come on, could, you couldn't, could you? Well, he once would have been number one, didn't he? That's what yeah. he said. And the, and the, I love the suits, man, with the stripes inside his suits and everything, man. Oh, it's just brilliant, man. It's, it's oh, great, you know. It's just, it's just great, man. I wonder if he made it himself. I got someone to stitch it in from. It's uh, it was just I can't wait for the next um, the next instalment on Friday. Yeah. So I mean, we've yeah. got a great weekend uh, lined up uh, this weekend. We've got the documentary on Friday. We've got Man City, eight o'clock Saturday night, isn't it? Ah, uh, eight o'clock Saturday. Yeah. Um. So, are you watching the um? Are you watching the Chelsea Liverpool game? Yeah, I'll put it on. Yeah, I'll definitely. I think the tap has sports coming on. So. I'll be watching that. Right? We'll see. Yeah. We'll see what uh, what a happens draw. in that game. I mean, a draw. That's what we probably would like, wouldn't we? In that game, or would you want Chelsea to beat Liverpool? As long as Liverpool don't win. Uh, your mate Klopp, the Goofmeister. Yeah, <laughs> the Goofmeister. Right. right. So, is, are we done for the, the the recap yesterday, Paul? Is that us all done now then? Yeah, I think we've re- recapped it uh, all of it, yeah. yeah. Right, mm-hmm. boys and girls, uh, me and Paul's going to sign off now and uh, we'll be back Friday previewing uh, the Man City game. And uh, enjoy your week, folks. And uh, me and Paul, and see you after. Don't after. forget to, Rob, don't forget to subscribe or give a like. Paul says, uh, if, if you like what you're watching, give a like or subscribe. And I agree with him, by the way, so... Right. Even if you don't even if you don't like it, just like it. There you go. There you go. Const- there you go. He's spoken. He's spoken. <laughs> By the way, uh Friday, Friday, I hope you're uh, clean shaven, mind. I cannot oh, have I you. Will, I'll, have to... I'll, I... I'll see what I can do, Rob. Paul, I cannot have you coming on looking as though you've been sleeping on the on a bench in Lisa's I'll box. See, I'll never stay on for the Aye, aye. <laughs> anyway, no, right. on the same bench as you, so. Well, anyway, right, take care, everyone, and me, Paul, see you Friday. Right, toodaloo, see you later.